Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today's Wednesday, so that means it's a weigh-in update. So I'm going to apologise that it, um, this upload is later than normal. Normally my weigh-in updates go live at five o'clock. However, things are slightly different um, tonight um, and maybe for the foreseeable future. So my uploads may vary on a Wednesday. Um, Grace has picked up another club after school and um, when that finishes is the time I actually um, record my um, my vlog so I have to go and get or meet her somewhere um, because it's still dark night she wants me to meet her halfway and then um, walk back which is you know fair dues so it just means that my upload will be later on um, on on a Wednesday because then she has dance as well later on so it's just been a busy busy um, a day today. So let's talk about my week. My week has been really, really good. It, I've just, I'd call it, I've been in control this week. Um, I've got the control back and I felt really good with that. So after coming back from a week of where I've just ate my body weight in chocolate, it is sometimes hard to get back into like the swing of things and probably Wednesday and Thursday were my like my hardest days to get back on track. I didn't go off plan or anything, I stick to it but it was those two days where I was like oh I could just do with a bit of chocolate or, or I'll um, just have a, an extra packet of crisps. I didn't but those were the kind of thoughts that were going through my head and then by like Friday morning I was back to it, I was enjoying the food, it just clicked, like, I was like, come on, we need this. So throughout the week I've been on plan, apart from Saturday, so Saturday evening I went to my in-laws to celebrate Vicky's birthday, so we had a, a meal at Michelle's which was chilli con carne and boiled rice which was all semi world friendly and I did have a slice of garlic bread and then obviously it's not a birthday without a birthday cake, um, Michelle had bought a biscoffy birthday cake and I did have a slither of it, I took the icing off, I'm not a big fan of like fondant icing or icing in general, Chris had that and I had like it must have been about that big of a piece of cake. It was delightful um, and that was it. And then I had black coffees with skinny syrup whilst I was there. So that was Saturday and then Sunday it was, I think I showed you in one of my vlogs what I ate over the weekend. And then Monday, Tuesday has been on plan and tonight has been on plan as well. I've had my tea, I've had leftover cheeseburger pasta which was gorgeous with a salad. Um, so yeah, it's been a really good week. Um, and I feel so good that I've got the control back. I'm in a really good mindset. I just feel good. Um, something which is new, um, I mentioned it last week um, in my weighing update. I'm just gonna take a drink. Um, black coffee with some skinny syrup in my mug, which I got for my birthday off Chris. It's the Mama Bear mug from Raven Clay. And oh, it's just such a huggable mug, I love it. Um, anyway, so I mentioned it in my last vlog that I was going to take up jogging and I put some videos in in my weighing update saying I've done it, I do apologise, um, I, I did it kind of thing and I've done it three times and I feel really good. The, the, the sense of achievement after I've done it is just amazing. Now I'm no expert, you know, I'm not tracking my laps, I'm not tracking my time, I'm not... I'm just basically having a walk, telling my body that I'm going to be like, you know, going to be running in a minute and then going into a gentle jog and just seeing how long I can jog for without feeling tired, without wanting to, wanting to stop. And when I feel like my body is ready to stop, then I slow down and I go back into like, like, a proper good quality walk kind of thing there's no dawdling it's proper power power walking is it and um yeah so i started off slow and then by day two i'd done a mile um running day two i did a three and a half mile circuit and i ran half mile um for one bit of it and then i ran another half mile at the end of it and then throughout that i'd, I'd done the, the walk and it was just lovely uh my minutes of running are increasing um i'm, I'm wanting i can run more and i think it's just a confidence thing now to like go back come on we can push ourselves we can go a bit more but i don't want to push myself too much overall i'm thoroughly enjoying it i am 
wanting to take part in the 10k Yorkshire Wildlife Park um, race in April. I will be doing like the fun run section of it where you can walk or jog, it's entirely up to you. But it's a nice little goal to achieve so I'm really, really enjoying that. So let's get on with my, my weigh in on what I did this week. So I stepped on the scales and I lost four and a half pounds. So I am 12 stone, 11 and a half pounds with a weight loss of one stone, 11. So I am exactly a stone away from my new target. Um, so that's what I am chipping away at now to get um, another stone off so I can be a target member and see how I feel when I get there. I am loving what I'm eating I'm taking it nice and slow and with this kind of journey I am learning a lot about myself and my eating habits. When I first got Target um, I just wanted the weight off immediately and it wasn't about learning anything, it wasn't about retraining my body regarding food, it was nothing, it was just I need this weight off ASAP and I started in the September and by the May I got it off. I got my weight off but I'd not learned anything I'd just learned how to lose weight quickly and that was saying no to a lot of things it weren't incorporating a lifestyle change it was just basically going into like proper full-on slimming world head so I would say no to um meals out i'd say no to nights out if i was ha having to go out i would look at the menu and make sure that i could have a jerky potato some of the food I, I didn't really want to eat but because it was the most healthier choice i was going for that and it just wasn't yes i enjoyed it yes i lost the weight but when i got to target i found it extremely hard to stick to target and that's because i didn't know how to incorporate this like new lifestyle change I wasn't embracing my like my insecurities so like my wobbler bits my arms I was still hiding them um and there was a lot which now I've learned so I've learned to like myself accept my wobbly blitz accept my wobbly arms accept that in this weight loss journey there's going to be slight gains there's going to be losses there's going to be maintained because all our lifestyles are completely different and it's okay what i can't stand is when i gain the kind of gain like i did last week where i'm just eating for eating sake i'm not eating because i'm going out for a nice meal or there's an event or there's a moment it's just pure greed in that instance where i'm just eating food for eating sake and i've learned like my what my food triggers are um, when i'm going to feel more hungry um and put, trying to put things in place so I've learned a lot throughout my weight loss journey and sometimes those are the biggest wins when you start understanding the way you see food the way you want food the way you can incorporate into your lifestyle it's a massive thing um, <clears throat> and that doesn't come and that's something which you learn all the time I'm okay to now say that I'm going to be on Slimming World for the rest of my life um, I thoroughly enjoy the food I'm eating, it's something which I like to do um, and I know that even if I stepped away from Slimming World I know that I'd, uh, I'd have to return because I just, it's that little like helping hand on the way. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling for rambling sake here. Um, but all I'm saying, all I'm going to say is, is I feel so good that I'm back into control this week of my eating habits and um yeah four and a half pounds off this week go me like i'm really happy with that i have set um a three pound loss this week um i don't know whether i'll get it uh, well that's what i've asked for because then i'd get my two stone award back and that would be another little achievement of mine it would be lovely to receive that um, but any loss I'm, I'm happy with. I am going to my parents this weekend. I'm going shopping on Saturday with my mum and then on Sunday we're going to see the Nutcracker Ballet with Grace, me and my mum at the Darlington Theatre which Grace is obviously very excited for um, and she's really looking forward to it. It's part of her Christmas box for my parents. Um, yeah, 
So um, I've got a busy weekend, but my mum and dad are now um, doing Slimming World as well, and they are going to incorporate Slimming World meals. Mm -hmm. So um, I, there'll be nothing um, off plan at the weekend. I might have a coffee out, but I'll make sure that it's, you know, if it's a cappuccino, I'll class the milk as my milk allowance, um, you know, and ask for semi-skimmed milk or skimmed milk. Um, so there's, there's things I can do. Um, to stick to plan. Um, I did, I'm going to sneeze. Chew, <coughs> bless me. <coughs> then again. The new hi-fi bar is out. Sticky, sticky, sticky toffee. I haven't personally tried it. You can have two of these as a healthy extra B or the three sins or three and a half sins each. Chew, <coughs> goodness me. Um, these were quite a Marmite kind of product and group. Some people absolutely loved it for the sweetness of them and some people thought they were, they were very too sweet and sickly. Um, they thought that they would have one on an evening to hit that sweet tooth of theirs, but they couldn't have two as a healthy extra B. That would be too much. So very much a Marmite. If you are in group or you have tried these, please let me know what you think. I haven't personally tried them. I'm not the biggest fan of the high fire bars in general. I do buy a box of the new ones out just to, to try them and see what the fuss is. My favourite ones of all time is the Rocky Road, but obviously they're they're long gone. They were my like my favourite thing ever. I thought they got the combo correct, and I haven't found one yet, which has been nice. Um, so we'll see what these are like. You never know; these might be my new favourites. So um, I hope you've had a lovely week, whatever plan you follow. Please let me know how you're getting on in the um, comments down below. I'm getting better at replying to you. Um, that's my new thing, taking time out just to reply. If you've got time to reply to me and comment, then I have to take time out to reply to you. I just think it's only right. I do try my best to do that. Um, so I hope you have a lovely week ahead. I hope you have a lovely weekend. And as always, sending huge positive thoughts. See you soon. Bye.